What's up guys, it is Bucket Mouth Bass back here again today and today I'm super excited. I finally got paid. I really need a new rod. Uh, if y'all saw my last video, I'm using like this old uh, quantum rod that I have. Uh, I have my Shimano Sitica on there and I can't feel anything with that rod. It has the worst sensitivity ever. It's like a super low end rod and I need a better rod so I can get out and start fishing some tournaments and stuff with it. So today I'm going to be going into Bass Pro and looking for a good rod. I think the carbon lights are on sale but I'm pretty sure I want that one but I'm not sure I want to look at all the rods they have in there and compare and see the prices and what I can get for a good price guys I'm not hundred percent sure yet but uh, I'm gonna get in there and I'll get back to y'all when I'm in there if you guys haven't already please consider subscribing to my channel I'm gonna have awesome content for y'all this summer coming out very soon What's up guys i'm in the store right now i'm over here by the carbon lights there's a lot of rods here that i want but i'm gonna keep looking around for now and uh flip the camera right now and show y'all what i'm looking at all right guys to be honest these things are pretty expensive though the bait casting rods are over here but uh, they're on sale for 20 percent off so they're about 95 bucks uh, they're really nice rods but i just don't think i want to spend that much money so i'm going to go look for some other stuff uh, and I was looking at buying a crankbait rod too, but I'm not sure. I mean, I don't fish a lot of crankbaits. Then they have the pro qualifier rods here, but yeah, I just don't know. 100 bucks is still a little bit steep, guys. So, all right, guys, I came over here. They have all these bionic rods. They're 50 bucks. I almost knocked that over, but I did not. Um, so I don't want these though. They have like huge guides on them. Uh, as y'all can see right there the guides are like huge on these and I don't want that grip either um, So I came over here. They have a micro uh, Guide rod right over here. They only have one left in the medium heavy and that's exactly what I want It's a fast tip. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and go with this rod uh, As y'all can see this thing's pretty freaking nice uh, it comes with the RT3 right there It doesn't come with a little dial on the bottom, but that's not a big deal for me and it has these little tiny guides so if y'all can see this right here it comes with the micro guides so i can be a little bit more accurate on my casts with this rod so i'm gonna try it out um i don't tie a lot of leaders so i'm not too worried about these guides but i'm probably gonna pick up this rod if anything changes i will let y'all know all right guys they were kind of getting mad at me for filming over there but i am gonna get this bionic rod i'm gonna go home and explain more about it later but uh, there's a ton of people here right now, so it's kind of hard to film. I'm going to get these gloves too. But like I said, I'm going to get out of here and tell y'all what I like about this and actually go fishing. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave that to another video or in this video, but I'll get back to y'all when I'm uh, back in my house. What's up guys, I'm back at my house now. There, it's not swarming with people here, so I can actually film for y'all. So I did actually decide to pick up this rod right here. I don't wanna hit it on my garage. The Bass Pro Bionic Blade Micro Rod right here. It looks pretty sweet. Um, it's not too heavy. It has that RT3 graphite in it. And I bought the seven foot medium heavy fast action as y'all can see. And I'm gonna be going out and fishing with it probably later because this week is actually the last week of school. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna be fishing a ton for you guys in the summer. And I'm gonna be buying some really sweet stuff because I'm, be, I'm gonna be able to work again. So I'm super excited for that. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. But I also bought these awesome gloves there too because I've been sunburning my the back of my hands when I go out fishing. So I need to protect myself from the sun. I bought those. I found those in like the fly fishing shop. Uh, I forgot to record it honestly, but it's not a big deal. It's just gloves. But uh, that rod, I'm not 100% sure if I want to keep that rod yet that I just showed y'all. Um, I'm going to go out and fish with it and see what I think about it. Because the biggest thing for me when it comes to a rod is the sensitivity, guys. I need 
good sensitivity so I want to be able to feel uh, where my bait is and if it's going over rocks or if it's going over uh, a lay down under water or if it's going over you know some kind of tree stump or something like that I want to be able to feel that so if I can't feel that with this rod I'm probably gonna take it back for the carbon light and, and give the carbon light a shot but uh, please let me know if y'all have used this rod and what y'all think or if y'all think I should take it back for the carbon light or even take it back for a different rod you know just let me know uh, what kind of rods y'all like uh, I would really appreciate that but if you haven't already like I said please go down and subscribe and I'll see y'all back here next time